Hello and welcome once again. In the last part, we had learned how to complete the basic mechanical assembly of the Prusa i3. In this part, we shall be learning how to assemble the extruder and how to mount the extruder onto the X carriage. The parts required are the plastic parts, the extruder main block, extruder idler, small gear, the large gear, 8 mm smooth rod, smaller one, 608 double z skate bearing, this mark 7 drive gear, this is a stainless steel mark 7 drive gear with really sharp teeth. 66 mm long M5 threaded rod. The rod comes with a flat onto one end. Some M5 nuts. Some M3 10 mm long screws. A NEMA 17 motor. And Allen key to work with the grub screw of the Mark 7 drive gear. We would also be needing two 625 double z skate bearings which in this case have been pre-installed into the extruder block. We shall be showing you how to install these on the extruder. First of all we shall see how to assemble the main block of the extruder. First of all we need to clean this portion of the uh, main block of the extruder. We need to break it. We can use a using a knife we have cleaned out this end of the extruder block now take the 6 to 5 double dead bearing and snap fit them into the two parts of the extruder block like this this bearing will fit only at two places in this extruder block. One bearing goes towards the end like this. And the other bearing fits to the front portion. You can see that we have finished fitting both the 6 to 5 double z bearings on two ends of the extruder block. To fit this bearing you might require some force. It is advisable that you, you use a rubber mallet to force this bearing into this groove. Here we can see, here we can see that we have finished installing the two 6 to 5 double z roller bearings into the extruder block. Now we need to prepare the large gear. Use one M5 nylon knocking nut to insert it into the front portion of the drive gear like this. You might need some force to insert this nut into the space provided on the drive gear. Be careful not to crush the plastic part while inserting this nut. Now take the 66 mm long M5 threaded rod. Keep the flat portion away from the main big gear and insert it and thread it into the large gear in this manner. Ensure that the rod is tighten and it is flush with the nylon locking nut like this. Now take one M5 nut and secure the rod to the large gear in this manner. Tighten it with hand first like this. You can use a plier to further tighten this. Take another M5 nut and in the similar manner insert it in similar manner thread it here here you can see how we have prepared this large gear 
this is a M5 nylon locking nut. There are two M5 nuts here which have been tightened against the gear. The flat portion faces away from the large gear. Now take the extruder block. Keeping the orientation in this manner, we need to insert the large gear in this manner. Here you can see that we have installed the M5 nut onto the M5 threaded rod. Do not tighten this nut. Uh, leave some space for the drive gear to fit in. Now take the drive gear and keeping the thick portion towards the big gear. Also ensure that the grub screw is loose. Insert the drive gear in this manner and insert the M5 threaded rod through the drive gear into the Rear, uh, rear skate bearing which we had installed in this manner. Now we need to tighten this M5 nut to now we need to tighten this M5 nut against this roller bearing. Simply hold the nut and thread the rod into it. Have a closer look at this entire assembly. M5 nylon locking nut which is which is fit into the large drive gear two M5 nuts here six to five double thread bearing another M5 nut taut against the skate bearing this is the drive gear which is right now free to move we will eventually tighten it and the rear skate bearing the flat portion of the M5 threaded rod you can see it should be toward the rear roller bearing now we need to adjust the position of the drive gear for this take one zip tie and push it through the filament hole in this manner this will give you a reference point now we must Ensure that the groove of the drive gear is aligned with this zip tie in this manner. At this position, we can tighten the grub screw of the drive gear. Just hold the drive gear and tighten the grub screw. Here we can see that the, uh, the groove of the or the teeth of the uh, drive gear are aligned with the zip tie which will eventually be replaced by the filament and it will pull the filament effectively now you can see this entire assembly is complete and moves as one system now we need to take the NEMA 17 motor and the smaller gear and prepare it in the following manner for the smaller gear insert one M3 nut into this small groove here and install a M3 grub screw in this manner. Take the main block of the extruder and the NEMA 17 motor with the smaller gear and install the motor in this manner. You must ensure that the wire is facing towards the open portion of the extruder block. Now ensure that the grooves of the smaller gear and the larger gear they align with each other you might need to adjust this pulley by pulling it outward or pushing it inwards just ensure that the grooves of the larger gear and the smaller gear are aligned to each other and the NEMA 17 motor is lying absolutely flat along the surface of the plastic part in this manner now you can push this further now we can tighten the grub screw on the smaller gear now we shall be installing the idler onto the main block for this we will be needing the X idler 1608 double z skate bearing 120 mm M8 smooth rod, 2 M3 nuts, 2 40 mm M3 screws, 
we have installed two M3 washers onto them and two spring take the idler block and insert the M8 smooth rod into it in this manner you might need some force here you can use a small rubber mallet or you can just press the part like this to push the rod into the plastic part thereafter take the roller bearing and insert the rod through and through the roller bearing ensure that the roller bearing moves freely onto the smooth rod and it has got some float that is moves across the smooth rod idler is prepared now now we need to prepare the two M3 40mm screws just put the washer and the spring in this manner yeah. now, now take the main block of the idler and push this M3 nut into the groove provided here can use a plier to push them inside In this manner we have two nuts inside now take the idler block and slide it into this groove here in this manner push it towards the edge it will align itself Now take one of the 40 millimeter screw and simply screw it in. Take another one and screw it in. We now need to install the hot end onto the extruder. This is a J head Mark 5 Bravo hot end, which is really nice and of very good quality now we must first take the extruder and see where the hot end will actually mount the hot end should mount directly below the idler here and this is the feed hole of the filament into the hot end initially install the hot end in a manner that the wires are facing away from the NEMA 17 motor in this manner thereafter we need to push this hot end so that the feed hole of the hot end matches with the hole of the extruder in order to slide the hot end we can use a slightly screw motion in this manner which will enable the hot end to slide easily into the groove but we must ensure in the end the wires they must be facing away from the NEMA 17 motor here the extruder is complete the J head hot end has been mounted you can see that we have used two 30 millimeter long M3 screws to secure the J head hot end in place and also we have installed the fan mount in one of the screws you see from the side profile like this once we install these M3 30mm screws the J head hot end would the hole, the hole of the J head hot end would perfectly align with the feed hole of the filament you can also check it by looking from the feed hole you should see through and through the feed hole and you can check movement by using a finger now we shall be installing this extruder onto the X carriage of the Prusa i3 mechanical frame which we had completed earlier we completed assembling our extruder now we shall be mounting the extruder onto the X carriage we shall mount the extruder using two 30 millimeter long M3 screws which will 
mount the extruder to, uh, to the X carriage with the help of these holes. Some preparation needs to be done. Firstly, we must we must run through a set of M3 screws once through these two holes so that they accept the M3 screws easily. Also, we need to install two M3 30mm long screws into these two holes. We must tighten the M3 screws with the help of a long Allen key in a manner so that they emerge from this side in this manner now just align these two screws with the holes of the X carriage in this manner and you must tighten these screws one by one in this manner Here we have finished installing our extruder onto the X carriage. You may check this for movement. Also, please notice the position of the wires as it should be. In the subsequent parts, we shall be learning about the electronics and further calibration of the printer.